We are live. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I can't see I can hear you. But same. Same. Yeah, I just see the, the Real Housewives of uh, New York. Yeah, I love that dress mm -hmm. too. I, heard, I never noticed how cute that dress was. This Which one? one? Leah, <laughs> Leah? I like the dress. Oh yeah, Leah's does look. I mean, she's she brings it on the fashion tip. Yeah, my well, minus that one thing in the confessional the, with a. I know we'll get into oh, the, the, the. Are those pajamas like a onesie? <laughs> <laughs> no, what is that like, Lady Gaga outfit? That's <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like she just rolled over and said, "Oh, y'all want me to do this from home today?" Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are live. This is. I'm not sure why. Okay, maybe if I take this off. There we are. Hey, there we are. Okay, Sweet. let me change the background. Hey, everyone. Sorry about that. We just had a. Minor technical uh, difficulty. Welcome back to the All About the Tea channel. I'm Monica, your hostess with the mostest, and the team, Monique Kelly, the fabulous DJ Richie Sky, and Amir Yes. All right, y'all. Today we're recapping the Real Housewives of New York. <laughs> And these ladies are. What about John? What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. See, we I told you. Didn't call and treat me like Leah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Child, how can I forget? How can I forget? John is actually um, joining the team full time, guys. Hey, clap Yay. it up for John. Rolling with the homies. Rolling, exactly. Yep. <laughs> It's funny because John and I go way, 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 way we back. We sure do. And we've had our trials and tribulations. <laughs> we sure have. So <laughs> it's, it's really nice that we can come together, you know, and work like this. You know, you can anybody can put anything behind them and move on. Yep. Um, I love it. I love you. We don't to talk about this on a live stream. <laughs> tea. Like, a little tea. Who cares about the housewives? I, don't I, hear about John and I know, no, but John, John's my homeboy. I love him. He is so knowledgeable <laughs> and so much fun. So, okay, so we're still in Mexico. They're living it up. And we, you know, they're living it up. They're picking up men. They're fighting. They're talking voodoo and explosive diarrhea. Oh. So, let's get into it. <laughs> the fun episode. So the episode starts with two hot yoga instructors stop by the house. Um, Ramona, Sonia, Leah, they're both, they're all hovering under the covers. They're nursing hangovers from the night before. Surprisingly, Dorinda's up. <laughs> how, how, how does Dorinda get up every morning after she drinks the way she does? Like, what is she? Is it the water pills that Sonia's on that gives her this energy? Like, I don't understand how Dorinda is fresh as a daisy every day. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't know. You know, when I was growing up, um, I used to take the subway to go to school, and my neighbor used to be on the subway. This is just a sidebar. And I knew she was a drunk. But you would see her going to work and she was dressed in her fine suit and her briefcase and everything. And you would never know that she was a tyrant around the neighborhood drunk all the time. So that's wow. like Dorinda. She's a functioning drunk. <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, the only way I could function after a night like that is if I took BC in the morning. Oh, that's right. Or BC before you start drinking too. Yeah. I know BC, oh, that okay, helps. You, know, you know about the BC powder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good old one. That's BC. <laughs> Dorinda probably has yes, a lifetime supply or something. I don't know. She does. Doing. She's like their brand ambassador or something. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think Dorinda has like an extra enzyme. You know, some people can't, you know metabolize alcohol i think she has an enzyme that actually does so i mean i think she's ahead of the curve so i i love dorinda she's just so unpredictable and it's just so fun and these ladies need to brush their teeth with bottled water everyone's been to mexico i've been to india you you use the bottled water to not get diarrhea it's like it's not Thank rocket you. science Thank Sorry. you. I mean, what was she, maybe she was drunk when she brushed her teeth who knows i mean true true I mean, 
common sense. So, so they're on, um, they're up. Lou eventually joins Dorinda and they're exercising. And um, Luann, of course, has, she's saying she has to have her huevos rancheros, you know, wherever, <laughs> Wherever she is, whatever she's like that friend who learns Spanish and has to keep using it. It's like, girl, we're at Taco Bell. Stop saying guacamole. It's like, chill. Like. Oh, yeah. Luann's Insane. body is like her body is phenomenal. It really is. Okay? Like yeah. she, I'm like she is doing it, and I just have to say a side note: Real Housewives of New York has gotten me through quarantine. They keep me going. I'm nursing a hangover right now because I was watching <laughs> them last night, and unfortunately, I don't wake up like Dorinda. But yeah, like their bodies are on point. Like seriously. Now Luann looks amazing. She she is doing it for her age. How old is she? Like fifty seven or something? Oh, let's wow. Google it. Someone Google it. She would hate this. She would hate that we're Googling her age. Luann somewhere is pissed off. She this is, is very not classy. Uncool. <laughs> don't be like uncool. Like just don't be. But just yeah, be she, cool. That, don't be uncool. Totally. Well, that's what I appreciate just about this trip. We don't have Heather. Coming around, trying to judge people. So I love that they know how to party mm. and there's no judgment and they having a I'm good not. time until Dorinda. Dorinda is just, I love her because she can dress her butt off, first of all. But somewhere mm. down the line, she has gotten angrier. I don't know what's going on. Mm. She's, She's going through something. Yeah, I think so. She, 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 she is. Absolutely. I am glad I agree, right Monique. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Sonia takes a call in her room from Century 21. And I'm so proud of Sonia. Uh, Because Century 21, for those that don't know, is a huge department store in New York City. They, um, it's like an upscale Marshalls, right? Am I right? It really is. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how I would say it is. Yeah. They sell, they sell high end, like really high end fashions at a, you know, deep discount. So Mm -hmm. she has this line and she's on the phone with the co-owner and she's negotiating this deal. She's come a long way, hasn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) She has though. She really, she has. I'm proud of her. A long way from the poster of them. Long way from the toaster oven. So I'm so proud of her. So now the ladies are eating breakfast on the patio and Dorinda accepts a call from her daughter, Hannah. Now, of course, this pisses off Lou and Ramona because they're appalled at Dorinda's table manners. And Dorinda takes off in a huff and a puff and she's upset. Well, Let's Dorinda was to- yelling at, um, was it Ramona and Leah? No, it was Sonia and um, and Leah, Leah. Leah oh, earlier yeah. for like doing work at the table because God forbid anyone you know gets work done while they're on vacation sitting at the <laughs> table, you know. So like that's why uh, they flipped on Dorinda at the end. But can I just say something? This just made me so mad. Both Sonia and Leah were just sitting there calmly doing their work when everybody else bombarded their table and then demanded that they stop what they were doing. <laughs> exactly. <to> pay them. <laughs> That part. Absolutely. The nerve, Mm -hmm. the audacity. Uh, Absolutely. And we have to also acknowledge that the two of them have started their own businesses. They're not like independently wealthy like the rest of the ladies. They have to kind of make those calls. And Leah doesn't have a husband. Like she, she has to get her, you know, married to the mob business off the ground. She wears that ugly sweater every time in the confessional. <laughs> so she's fully promoting it. It's like, I'm proud of her, you know? <laughs> and she made a good point when she said, when you work for yourself, you literally, you, you're you working 24 seven. You know, no That's one's going to work. Yeah. So I, I totally get that. But you know, I mean, there's a lot of hypocrisy that floats around this group. Um, <laughs> that's funny. So this triggers um, that Monica. Side. We Monica, we have a really funny comment. Someone says Dorinda's grass isn't being mowed. That's why she's grumpy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's, that's down to her. Her and Don just I, I can't. I can't. Oh god. I can't. <laughs> there I it can't. is. Yeah. You know, she broke up with John and, you know, that was a peculiar kind of relationship. I don't think she was ever really in love with John, 
but it was a convenience thing. And then, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Are they broken up or are they just together yet not together? Like what, what was the final verdict? She said she left him. She said she was done. Yeah, I believe I believe they're broken up. I never, I do agree with you. It was a thing of convenience. I do think for a lot of men, Dorinda's ex-husband was the bomb. Like I understand why she's still just devastated. And John seems like the type that was kind of laid back in the cut, waiting for things to go down and swoop it in when she was vulnerable. And now I think she, I think she's just now starting to grieve the death of her husband now that she doesn't have john to distract her from it and maybe that's why she's so angry because she had this amazing husband she had they had desmond tutu at their house i mean that's next level that is next level yeah, yeah it is he was rich he was smart i mean those two put together a rich and a smart man and he was kind to her that's hard to find i mean no one can follow that's that act that's so hard. nope grieving him and I think she kind of just treated John like a piece of crap. She just used him. He was a convenient relationship, you know, just someone to have around, do her dry cleaning. Yeah, for the dry cleaning. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. she does have some yeah. expensive clothes. That dry cleaning would have been high. <laughs> yeah. The free, uh, yeah. the free campaign. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. do you remember a few seasons ago when, when Bethany accused John of using powdered donuts or whatever, or powdering his nose? It, was that powdered true? Powder? Mm. Didn't she accuse both Dorinda and yeah. yeah? That might explain how she's able to get up so early in the uh, morning. That's what I was going to say earlier. I don't know. <laughs> there you have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you have Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Just a wake Absolutely. up blast, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Off you go. Um, do y'all think? Um, do y'all think John is a clout chaser a little bit? Do you think that he was a fan of the show and it is a kind of like, okay, I, I can be relevant? Because he got involved in the storyline and was kind of yelling at people. So I don't know. Do you think he's a bit of a clout chaser? I do. I do. It seemed that way. And, and I think that's turned Bethany off and she just couldn't stand him. You know, she was she just- She did say that. Mm -hmm. She did, right? She did. Yeah. Yep. He was so turned off by it's like she was repulsed by his, his presence. <laughs> it's like, girl, <laughs> did he sleep with your old man? What is going on? You know, I, it was something deep there. <laughs> Nothing did not like him. And, you know, for whatever reason. Okay. Yeah. So well, I think when the men get involved, right? Monica, I think when the men get involved, right? We have PK and now Aaron in Beverly Hills. I think when the men get involved, the women really don't like that. They really don't like that. Stay out the woman's business. Like, let the women mm -hmm. argue. That's on them. Mm -hmm. it's a you know, I'm going to say this, though. When you get, on, like, when they bring the men onto the show for their first season, they don't know. They really don't know. They really thinking, oh, all these people are attacking my wife or my, you know, <laughs> not today. <laughs> <laughs> that is they, the limit. They always get that first season education. That's true. Okay. That's and true. Bethany is in charge of the girls. Like Bethany runs the show when she's on the show. She, you know, she sets it. She sets the, the tone. Don't come on her show. Do not step on her, her toes. You better act right. So I miss Bethany. Like, I feel like she was like the glue that held the show together. Like, you know, she put Absolutely. the fear of God into everybody else. And like, <laughs> now it's like, now that she's gone, like everyone's crazy wild. Like it's like, it, 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 they've been like waiting for Bethany to go off so, so they could just like run amok and like I just miss Bethany. I miss her a lot. <laughs> Me I, miss too. Her. I miss her too. I'm it's like sure. a frat party without a house mother or something. There it is. There's, where's yeah. Mrs. Garrett? Where is she? Like, that's what we need. Exactly. We need like exactly. girls, girls, girls. Like, we need Mrs. Garrett back. Like, come on. Right. <laughs> yeah, they have her off the rails. Mm -hmm. Bethany did keep them in check because a lot of the stuff that's going down now would not be going down if Bethany was on it. And a oh, part hell of me no. likes it. <laughs> a slight bit to watch them off the rails, but a part of me's like, dang, y'all are really off the rails. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, I, I agree with that. So then we have Luann and Leah walking the beach and here comes two Canadian stallions and they go have drinks. <laughs> Were they stallions? Like, I don't know. I, I, don't know. <laughs> I know. I Kind of soft stallions. stallions. But they were good enough. Point, they were good enough. Yeah, they were good enough. But at this point, can these girls go on vacation without meeting a man and hooking up? I mean, can it just be a genuine? I mean, I can't. 
<laughs> well, Amir, you're a whole different category now. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We know how you get down, but it's it's just I don't understand. You know, a Real Housewives New York vacation is not a vacation unless someone hooks up with someone from the pirate who looks totally different now to um, Turks and Caicos, why are you being cool to this? I mean, that is part of their, oh, it wouldn't be a vacation without it. That's true. <laughs> so back at the villa, uh, Dorinda's resting in bed. She has explosive diarrhea. Oh my God, that was my favorite part Fun. of the whole show. Fun. There's poop on the floor. The room smells like poop. Let's like, where was Sonia it. and her abundance candles then? Like, that's what I wanted to know. Like, <laughs> like that, when Luann walked in and she walked right out when she got the Chanel, like, that was just, like, one of my favorite moments in New York history. That was, like, great. I, I loved it. <laughs> and then Ramona saying, this is how the room always smells. I'm used to it. I was <laughs> <laughs> Proving Leah's point that she, you know, soils the bed sheets and can't keep a man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that uh, to think about what that room must have smelled like was just. <laughs> but poor Dorinda, I mean, she had it coming. It had to have been bad. It had to happen. Because did she get medicine the next day that she had to take? For she six did. Oh, that's bad. And who gets Mo who gets Montezuma's revenge and then like, is able to go out the next day? Like that's like, God. What what are they giving Dorinda? Like is what I want to know. Like she is like immune to everything. Like nothing. Like it's amazing. She has an extra enzyme. It must be like I don't know what it is. Unbelievable, Ramona and Dorinda. I mean, they're like, well, you know, deuces. We're out. We're still gonna go party. <laughs> we hope you feel better. <laughs> We wish you well. The ladies are out. They're having a good time. They're enjoying themselves. And then it, it dawns on Luann, we're having a good time because Dorinda's not here. They don't have to be right. worried about if someone's going to end up, you know, cussing them out because uh -huh. they threw a straw or looked at it the wrong way. But is it just me or do I, do y'all kind of like it when she goes off the rails a little bit? <laughs> I do. I mean, I can see it starting to happen every time because she starts doing this. You know what I mean? And yep. <laughs> this yeah. is what you know, DJ. Clip, clip, clip. This is what you clip, know. Clip. <laughs> That's when you know it's going to be, you know, on and popping. <laughs> and it could take one word, one word to trigger her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember that, that time when you went off on Sonia about the monogram on her shoes? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you weren't even married. To, you, you're not even a Morgan. It's just, it's your ex-husband. Well, well, my daughter's a Morgan. Well, that doesn't count. Like, Dorinda went off. She went off the deep end. You would have thought she was married to her husband. All right? <laughs> Hello? No. That really no. set her off. I mean, it, it'll take, like, like DJ Richie Sky says, one word. One word and she is a hundred. Oh, Zero. Don't, don't even let Luann say anything. If Luann says anything, she is going back to her going back to jail like yeah, that. she sure is. No, that is so messed up. I mean, listen, we have seen Luann transition. I was watching season one and season two, that Luann versus now, and she has grown so much. It's like, don't throw it in her face. I mean, we've all been close to probably getting arrested for drinking at some point. We just didn't get caught. So don't just. Right there Dorinda. it is. <laughs> Dorinda has no leg to stand on. Like, she's literally, like, just having so many opinions, but she has no leg to stand on. Do you remember when um, Bethany took Dorinda out to that dinner uh, for like it was like the beast <laughs> rock? It, it was and it was like seven thirty at night, and Dorinda was completely crock trying to school like the people who about like uh, the islands and like <laughs> Bethany's like Dorinda. It's it's seven fucking thirty. Like like, <laughs> and Dorinda had to leave like stumbling out from the table. Like, come on, man. I can't. That's why I miss Bethany so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I know. Yeah. I mean, it's I, funny. We can laugh about it, 
nice. And it's been funny, but honestly, this season, I'm really seeing it start to catch up to Dorinda. I mean, she's looking a little rough. And Bethany Warren talked about this two seasons ago at the reunion, and everybody was so busy ganging up on Bethany, they didn't even really address Dorinda's drinking. Now they're saying a lot of the same things Bethany was saying two seasons yep. ago. Yeah. Yeah, she she That's needs true. to be wrangled in. It's it's getting out of control. And I'm really scared for her health at this point, too. You know, more importantly than anything, it's you have to take care of your health. Yeah. That's true. Do you think I nurse a hangover? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know what it is, y'all? I think that they're drinking in glam. I think that I try, I've been trying to figure this out for years. I think they're drinking in the glam while they're getting glam. So they're getting wasted. By the time they get to the dinner, they're like, whew, you know, three sheets of the wind. They're pre-partying, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. And I, But the thing I, I think bothers most of these ladies the most is how Dorinda gets personal. Like you said, bringing up Luann's arrests, you know, she gets really down and she, dirty. She goes it. for the kill shot right She's away. Like she, like she, she, she just wants to... In and out, one and done. Like, that's mean, it. Just, it. Dorinda don't got time. She has to get drink, and then she has to go for the kill shot, and then that's it. <laughs> go back to the drinking, and that's that. She cuts to the white meat, John. She cuts to the white like, meat. <laughs> and it does shut up, Luann. Luann's like, all right, let me go mind my business. <laughs> <laughs> she is that friend that argues to win. She's mm -hmm. not. That's it. You know what I mean? Like some people argue to be heard. She's arguing to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got, I kind of got to respect that a little bit. I'm just saying, like, you know, she don't got time to, you know, go the back and forth. She just goes for that kill shot, and then like that's it, game over. Yeah. Right. 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 She's the queen of that. And then I love when she turned around to Rona and she was like, "Should we go back to the house after the breakdown?" Okay, let's just go to the house. Come on, up, up. Like it just as if they didn't. She didn't annihilate her. I was like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> um. So now we have Leah and she's making out with Felipe. <laughs> she's literally sitting in his lap making out. We have Sonia and Lou on the side watching. And what are your what are your thoughts? In the middle of the restaurant. It's clear that Leah has not had sex in a while and she was being truthful about that. <laughs> like that's, that's, I, I, you know, like And what are your thoughts on Leah? Do, do you guys like Leah? I like Leah. I, I, like I, I don't mind her. I think she's better than Tinsley. I'll take Lee over Tinsley any day. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I can't do, <laughs> no, yeah. I can't can do deal. I, can't do deal. I think Leah needs to be on Vanderpump Rules or Summer House. Um, I think for these ladies, I like. Well, I know they're you know a little more seasoned. You know, a little you know been here a little bit longer. But I like watching the old school New York ladies. I don't think that she she's comedy. But I feel like she needs to be on a different show, a different cast. I can see that too. I yeah. Agree. I miss Heather. No, she was so judgmental. I miss Holla. 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 You brought them back to the house. You could have stolen my stuff. I was like, girl. But they need that grounding force, and they don't have that right now. They do need a grounding mm -hmm. force. I do agree because they're off the rails, but not Heather. Not Heather, not Jill Zarin. I was going to okay. say, I said Jill Zarin yesterday, and y'all bit my head off, so I'm not going to mention Jill Zarin. Come on, they kicked me out. That's classic. Come on. <laughs> I like Jill Zarin. You I like, like Jill Zarin. Zarin? I like her. Yeah. I like Jill I Zarin. I could take her. You could? I don't know. <laughs> now, what, was the, what was the name over? of the... I'm sorry. Go ahead. What was the name of the blonde one with the big eyes? What was her name? Christine? Kristen? I like Kristen. 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 I like her. Kristen Takeman. Yeah, she'll I never come back to this show. She'll never come back. After her husband was caught on that Ashley site, that was it. He didn't even want to be on the show when, you know, the sh she was on the show. He was always reluctant. But after he got caught cheating, that whole thing, yeah. she was done. Remember that? Y'all remember oh, that? I don't remember I that. Remember that. Oh yeah. Go, go back into the archives and Google that. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, that was some good stuff. He was on that cheating website for spouses or whatever. Ashley Peter Madison. Yes. Ashley yeah. Madison. Mm. Yeah. I was like, damn it, why didn't I along think of that? Duggars. Idea? <laughs> Duggars and, right. and Chris's yeah. husband. Yeah. Oh gosh, that was a scandal. But um, so she left after that. I don't guy, I'm gonna disagree with y'all. Please don't get mad at me, but I don't like Leah. I don't like her. 
Not for I, this show. You don't why? like her, Monica? Why don't you like her? Well, I, I don't like those um, those big K earrings that she wears. Those things bother me. <laughs> Can someone, you know, circa 1985, you know, when I was in high school, the girls would wear those big door knocker K earrings. No, ma'am. They just don't work in this setting. That sums Leah up. I mean, if you want to ask me what Leah is about, those K earrings. <laughs> oh, God. You're funny. Um, Monica, she asked her daughter if she should wear them, and the daughter said, No, they're ugly. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. The daughter smart doesn't like girl. Them. Yeah. Smart, smart girl. Okay, so if we're moving along. The next morning, Dorinda's recovering. Ramona um, steps into Scoot Central to check out, check on her friend. Um, Ramona downloads on dinner. She shows a video of Leah making out with Felipe at the table. <laughs> Ramona is so messy. That is so messy. That's why I'm glad someone got her and Harry Dubin to kiss it. And that's what she gets. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Pass around Harry. <laughs> exactly. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Who else had that Harry Dubin? I've not even had sex with him. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So according to Ramona, Leah brought Felipe home. Mm -hmm. But she said allegedly that they didn't have sex because so they, they just cuddled and kissed. Do you believe that? Do you? No, no, really? I don't think she's a, I don't think she would lie about that because she's like so open. She's like spicy dick and this and that. So I feel like she would have said it. She's like, you know, she strikes me as an everything else but girl. So it's like we didn't have sex sex, but we maybe did some other stuff. That's how she strikes me as. They just well, she does have crystals in her vagina. So, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. That, oh, my goodness. That is something else. So they go visit this shaman and he's channeling the birds and stuff and burning herbs and that kind of stuff. Um, Ramona doesn't like it. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> she's, she's freaked out about it. Um, but this uh, reminds Leah of, you know, some witch that she sees back home, but we'll get to that later. Then after that, they have lunch and they sit down and things kind of go off the rails again because they confront Dorinda about her drinking. You know, Dorinda don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, Dorinda is, is not. Uh, she's not a willing participant in this discussion. There's no discussion. She doesn't have a drinking problem, according to her. Right. I mean, no, she no, does get up every morning at 6 a.m. I mean, I just... <laughs> There's no one on this show that Dorinda respects enough to listen to like Bethany. That's what I need Bethany right. back. Right. Mm -hmm. That's wow, a good that's point. Well said. Yeah. That's so the only true. person in her in her mind, you know, you have Luann, the um the drunken convict <laughs> who went to rehab. <laughs> she looks at Ramona as a you know, another drunk, Sonia as her life's in shambles, and she's a drunk. You're right. Leah yeah. is don't even go there, girl, you know, according to Dorinda. Dorinda's mind anyway. So you're right. The person you probably will listen to is a Bethany, maybe an Andy Cohen, which I do feel at this point, Bravo needs to step in and do something. We don't want another bad situation on our hands, you know, like in Beverly Hills. Anything can happen. Right. But Andy knows, like, come on, like, we've been talking about, I've, I've been tweeting about Dorinda's drinking for, like, I don't know, like, the last three years. Like, there's no way Andy does not know about, like, you know. He knows, but does he care? No. Right. No, no, <laughs> well, as long as it's good TV, right? And I think that, you know, what's frustrating to me is, like, when people do interventions, when the person doesn't want to change. That doesn't come from a good place. I feel like it's hard to take people seriously that were just drunk two days ago and fell off the bed. It's just, it's like, it, it's kind of phony. And I think the only person that can really help her is maybe Luann, but she has to be willing to help, like be helped, you know? Yeah. Could you imagine if they did a crossover intervention episode with like, with Dorinda? 
and like they're all reading their letters to, to dear Dorinda. Like, it just makes me so upset to see you drinking the way you do. And I love you, and I'm Ramona. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> and I think their issue is more so the drinking. She's always been a, a heavy drinker with the slurred, you know, speeches. But now she's gotten so nasty and so mean. Like, I don't mind silly drunk. See, Sonia, I love because she's like. She's a fun drunk. She's lovable. Like Sonia's just, I just, I just adore Sonia. But when you become a mean drunk, that's when it's a problem. Right. I mean, she like is her, mean. she is. She's very the mean. On Tinsley, what was that? What was the thing between her and Tinsley? Why did she hate her so much? Hmm. Right. Where did that come from? I just feel like she was envious of the life that Tinsley had. It, that's the only thing I can understand because otherwise nobody else seemed to give a crap whether or not Tinsley was back with Scott and if she was in Europe with him or not. But Dorinda was like inspector. Dorinda turned into Megan King Edmonds trying to figure out exactly <laughs> what was going on with that girl's life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Richie, you're so eloquent with that. It's so Megan King Edmonds. It's absolutely true. Like, and, and I think Dorinda just, I think what you said was so key. It's like her life is enviable. It seems kind of easy, even though we know that Tinsley had a lot of issues with fertility and back and forth with Scott. But like, I think Dorinda would see it and be like, this looks easy. Like you're annoying. Stop complaining. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, Tinsley, <laughs> I love her because she came on the show and did what she came to do. She got a husband, okay? It was got all the back and forth, which was, you know, look, she hung in there and got her ring. And I want to see the wedding. I want to see the wedding. I want to see the dress. I need her mom, Dale, back. I mean, I'm not saying a full on spinoff, but you know, just a two episode, three episode deal. I just need to see the wedding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she better start giving Sonya more credit because Sonya is the one who got her on the show and got her her man. Thank you. That's true. Yeah. Agreed. That's true. Yeah, I don't agree with that one. You no, me neither. Okay. Me neither. And so you put her up too. She was, so. in your, she was just living in your in, in the cottage in the back, girl. Come on now. <laughs> it was Carol that hooked her up with her man. Let's let's uh -huh. be on that mm -hmm. one. Carol she was there with Sonya, and and it gave Sonya a storyline because Sonya uh, ain't had nothing going on on this show uh, outside of toaster oven. Oh no, Sonya in the storyline in itself. Sonya was a Morgan. Sonya is like, what is like what? that? <laughs> former, former what? Morgan. <laughs> former Morgan. And listen, um, Tinsley bought her a Louis Vuitton bag. Didn't she get her a bag or something? Yeah, That's she true. She did. And yeah. Ramona made 60 of her girlfriends pay for that bag. <laughs> <laughs> How expensive was this Gucci bag? What I've never heard of a Gucci bag that's this expensive that you need 60 people to pitch in. Were they even <laughs> pitching in $100? <laughs> It was a purse size Gucci bag. It wasn't even like a big five thousand dollar travel bag or something. I, I like, like a clutch. Was it on the invitation? Like, was there an admissions fee to get into the party? I don't get it. We could have been that. Bag. Bag. <laughs> he was. He went out in the invite instructions. <laughs> Maybe so Ramona not, needs an OnlyFans like Sonia and Dorinda. Everyone's been asking about that OnlyFans. They're not going to show their booty, guys. They're just going to show you how to work out and shit. They're not going to give you what you want. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Do Ramona, you really want to see that? <laughs> like, We've already seen it. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so Ramona now has a meltdown. She starts crying. Um, she wants to help Dorinda, but mind. Dorinda won't listen. Sonia's tired of Ramona's crocodile tears. <laughs> and Ramona is making it all about her. I gotta tell you, this was my favorite Sonia moment. She was like, What's your what what Ramona what Ramona was doing right then and there was counterproductive to what they were trying to say to Dorinda. And it I was agree. an attraction. Yeah. Yep, she was trying to have a moment, and it's it's not about you, girl. It's not about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was trying to have that Bethany moment when Bethany went off on Luann. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Where what were they? Time? There were so many. <laughs> that was, like, what, on the trip last season? Um, yeah, uh, 
when right. she was like, yeah. when I, I got you the rehab and I did this and it was free and you didn't pay for it. You left early. Like that was that, that, <laughs> that go off. Yeah. That, well, and then there was several, but that the last go off, I think it was in Miami and she had the full blown, you know, meltdown and tears. She was trying to have that moment, but it just, she just couldn't execute it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> It was at Barton G, right? In Miami, Barton G. Have you guys been to that restaurant in LA? It's yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so then Leah starts to talk about bad energy in her JJ. And, <laughs> and she sees a witch, a Puerto Rican witch in Brooklyn, who told her that the only way to get the bad energy out, you know, from this man is by inserting um, a sage diamond egg in her JJ. Let's sound off. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest with y'all. I blinked for like two seconds when this was on. And when she said Bruja, I was like, what? So I had to go look it up. I don't know what it was. That's some true blood type shit right there. Uh -huh. That's a voodoo witch. Yeah. That's a, yeah, chicken sacrifices and everything. That's the. And she said, the real deal. That That's like, what that is. You need like a lock of hair, an article of clothing, and like that type of, that, that, that type of scene. And a fat bank account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like, oh, Leah, I just, <laughs> you just never know what's going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> I mean, I hope it worked. <laughs> so then I, I went on Twitter and I saw a tweet. Someone said that that explains it. Her sister lives in Brooklyn. Uh, remember when Ramona said the sister looked like a demon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think she, it's her eyes. She's just like. And that dark <laughs> hair, it's like, okay, this must be a friend of her sister's or something, you know. Mm, interesting. <laughs> but you, you know what, y'all? When you live in L.A., that's not shocking. I mean, everyone here is sticking yoni eggs up their cooters. I mean, everybody here is, like, drinking juice from a calf that is suspended and it's gold. I mean, it's like, I don't know what's going on in LA. So I, it was not that shocking to me that she had that. Um, but I think that what I like about her is that she brings a little bit of like energy and different color to the show. Like she, you just kind of don't know what's going to come out of her mouth. So you really don't. That is so true. I mean, you just, you just never know what like, <laughs> and sometimes it's funny and other times you're like, oh my God. Too much. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a bit much for me. It, it was just like, girl, okay. And I just can't believe she's wasting her money on that crap. You know, I mean, no one can get the negative energy out of you besides yourself. That is true. That's why she that has to work true. on vacation. <laughs> to pay for some more crystal healings. <laughs> That's, you know. Good point. Good point. So what do y'all think the direction of this show is? Like, where is it going? What do you see for it? Are people still tuning in? Do people still like it? Cass Shakeup. <laughs> Say that again? Cass Shakeup. Cass Shakeup. What, what do you think they should do, DJ? I don't know. I, I know they need to add like maybe two more ladies. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, I feel you know, like this has been like a less stellar season than like what yeah. I'm used to. Yeah. Like, like they dropped, they dropped the ball on this season. And, like, and, I'm like, eh. we may need to get rid of Ramona. No. no! Oh, no. You can't. No. 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 I'm, I'm, I, listen, I'm telling you, I just feel like it may be coming. No. I we think she's had a Ramona lot of bad press. Sonia. No, no. Ramona, Ramona is the glue. Her. her crazy, you can't. Um, it's unmatched. Ramona, yeah, crazy. but I think that they can't explain it anymore because Andy Cohen's kind of getting embarrassed about the whole, you know, her not wearing a mask and then the whole antibodies and then the back and forth. And if she says one racist thing, I think she's out. You think well, so? I mean, they did get rid of Vicky. That's you know. True. That's true. That, that's true. Well, I just think because Vicky grew out of that show, you know, it just, it wasn't the same for her, in my opinion. But Ramona still acts like a crazy hoot. I mean, the birthday party shenanigans and breaking the fourth wall. And I mean, for me, Ramona's a classic in my head, you know, taking it back to season one with who's that couple that moved to Australia? Alex. Alex. Yeah. Record. 
Oh my God. Remember when he showed up at an all girls party at something at the <laughs> apartment? <laughs> Do you remember that? And Ramona lost it. She was like, we got to get him out of here. What is he doing? She went, she was like a bull in a china shop. She was. That's, but that was funny to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I can't see them, that show without Ramona, but I'm you never you know. Monica, I need Ramona, Sonia, Luann. I need them to keep the Dorinda. I need them to keep them, but I'm with you DJs. Like bringing two more people. Yeah. I want them to, to be like of age. I want them to be a little bit, you know, where they're their peers. Um, but I can't imagine who. They need Bethany you back. Know, Elsa, she didn't work. Mm -mm. Ramona's they need Beth Bethany. Bethany needs to come back. You know what about, about, what person, about Barbara? <laughs> oh. I don't know about Barbara. Barbara should go to Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> um, I agree. I agree with that. Um, I, I would take Elise about, over Barbara. Uh, oh, I don't like Elise. Oh. Over Barbara any day. Listen, I'm from Jersey, but Barbara should be with Jersey. And I'm from Jersey, so I can yeah. say that. Oh, yeah. What if, oh, yeah. Yo, definitely. what about Idina Menzel? I think Idina Menzel would be a great cast member. Oh, that would be good. Would she do it? No. I don't know. She wouldn't do it. I don't Dina so. Lohan. Oh, oh, Dina Lohan. She would be very messy. She that would be would good. Be good. She would be good. Yeah. I like that. I like oh. That I like that a lot. We do need one person of color, too, though. We need a little color on the show. How about Kamora oh, Lee? Kamora Lee Simmons. Oh, I love Oh, he Kimora matched Kamora on that. Oh. I was hoping they were going to move Kenya to New York when she was still up here with Mark. I, I thought Kenya would have been a great addition to New York. Imagine them dealing oh, with Kenya. God. I just can't see her fitting in. She is. Yeah, of course. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. Uh. I could see Kamora in Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. I could, yes. mm -hmm. I could see that too. She would She would have been a great cast addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because she, she brings it. She's not afraid to speak her mind. Um, she has the, the money, she has the coin. Um, I think she would have been a great cast addition in Beverly Hills. I think so. Yeah, that would be interesting to see who would come to New York. Who would be the next cast? But I still love the Drunken Antics. I'm still watching it, and I love it. How about Cindy Barship? Barship? Should we bring her back? God, no. Oh. Yeah, thank you. I, I I couldn't hold my face. Like, I was like, <laughs> no. It's a no for me. I'd rather yeah. see Aviva. I'd rather see Aviva throwing legs than. Have I would rather on. see Aviva back. Yeah, like, yeah. there you go. What about Jules Weinstein? She only lasted one season. I want to see her again now that she's divorcing and going through all that drama. How yeah. about Scary Island? How about Kel Big Kelly? Oh, Kelly? Oh God! Oh. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a Trump supporter. We don't need her. <laughs> that would just add to the chaos. Big time. That might be fun, though. Chaos is kind of fun. Shake things up. <laughs> if you're going to bring Kelly back, you have to bring Bethany back. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. To verbally rip her a new one. <laughs> that reunion was lit. Oh, my God. That was Those were the times, right? Yeah. I miss those, those days. Times. Yeah, those were the good times. How long yes. do you guys think that Ramona and Leah's uh, newfound relationship is going to last? That's that's what I'm curious about. Do you think it's going to last past the trip and they're going to go back to hitting each other again? Well, I mean, based on social media, they already do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw there was something where Leah was with Elsa. Is it Elsa or Elsie? Elise. Uh, Elise. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's how memorable she was. But um, <laughs> <laughs> and they were talking about Ramona, how she you know, whatever defecates the bed or something. So clearly it didn't last long. Absolutely. And Monique, she was doing a cameo. So she sent that to someone and a fan reposted it. She like, someone paid for that video. And imagine if you paid for Elise and you got Leah saying that. It's amazing. <laughs> that, that's cool. that's a good discount. <laughs> <laughs> and it went viral. Like it was in every blog too. So that that was something, you know, how embarrassing. See, Leah takes it. She just takes it there. She gets down and dirty. And I know some fans will say, well, Ramona deserves it. But I'm like, Ugh, uh, I don't know. I clutch my pearls. And she <laughs> opens her mouth. 
And that's pretty hard for me to do. <laughs> pretty hard for me to do. Someone, someone said Tin Tinsley's mom needs to come on board. I, I'm all for that. Dale, I love me some Dale. Now, she might be a better fit than Tinsley. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I don't like Dale. Oh, you don't God. like Dale here? What? I don't like Dale. I think Dale needs to go to Southern Charm and hang out with Patricia. Yes, put her on Southern <laughs> Charm. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Put her that on Southern Charm. That is so good, Amir. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> you just nailed it. Put her there. Put her there. Put her over with Patricia. Um, yeah. yeah, Patricia came for me on uh, Instagram because I don't know if y'all heard about Thomas Ravenel was saying that she she had some racist paintings in her house, and I reposted yeah, that story, yeah. and she was mad. She oh, was mad. what is she saying? What is she saying? It's all rumors and lies, and I was like, the paintings are there, though. There's paintings of <laughs> monkeys wearing dresses in your house. Like, you know. She literally did a tour of her house and was showing, was literally gloating that she owned the bed that Robert E. Lee was birthed in. Oh, okay, and for those listening that are not familiar, Robert E. Lee was a brutal slave owner. Like he set slaves on fire when he was done with them. Oh, okay, and she, this is what she's gloating about. Yeah. Girl, how, do you, how, do, how do you even like date that? Like does the mattress like come with like a stamp or like an authenticity <laughs> stamp or something like that? Like. How, how do you even know? Like, I, I, how do you know that? You, you, have, you have to go. It's you actually have to go and bid for these things at these high end auctions. You know these oh. auction houses. So she paid quite a coin for it, and she's showcasing it. So as soon as I published that blog, you know, Bravo took down the video of her home tour. It disappeared. Oh, really? oh immediately, hello. immediately, hello. immediately. I yeah, love that. that's good. That's how you that's how listen, white people are so funny. Can you imagine any of us going and bidding on a bed with afterbirth on it? Like, <laughs> no. it's, like it's just like what? <laughs> like, I don't care if it's Beyonce's afterbirth, I don't want it. Like, you don't want it. Yeah, no, but yeah, oh she's so that lady oh is good. <laughs> The old self, you know, she's yeah. ingrained in that. It's uh. it's like just some good old boys. Like that's like you like uh, <laughs> gone with the wind. <laughs> gone with the wind. Fabulous. Yeah, uh, yeah. exactly. That, that's that's that show. We have to do a southern. Do you guys all watch Southern Charm? Of course. Yeah. When are you no. coming back? We got it. Well, we got it. We got to get together and do something because Southern Charm, there's so much. It's such an interesting show. And there's so much off the screen drama. Nice. I don't know. Amira, have you been seeing some of Thomas Ravenel's tweets? He's been coming hard. He's been going hard against Patricia. He hates her. He calls her a gold hey. digging whore. Ooh. A gold digging. Ooh. Oh, that scared Amir. He he just took off. Oh, he oh, now he's back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of this conversation. Peace. No, I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I totally like. What a great time for me to fall off. Um, I, I truly I, I don't like Thomas Ravenel, and yes, I've seen the tweets, but I'm more concerned with Catherine Dennis and some of the racist things that she said, and now she's dating a black man. So I don't know oh. what's going on there. I was like, please bail up. Oh God! Why am I a lot of? <laughs> Go refill. You gonna refill? You know? Oh, because she's dating a black man. She's no longer racist. Give me a break. Hey, exactly. That's bullshit to me. That I'm oh, so, so convenient. It's so oh, she's very. She's covering her tracks. Yeah, I mean that scandal <laughs> broke, and then a, a month later, you're with this black man. And mm -hmm. I actually DM'd him. Oh, <laughs> that's just what I do. Yes, honey. Yes. I love Monica. I, <laughs> I, I DM him and am I getting feedback on this? Did you guys hear me clearly? Is that better? We're listening. Okay. Yep. So I DM him because I was coming, I found out she was dating him and I was gonna break the story. And I kind of wanted just to get, you know, a comment from him. I was letting him know the story was coming out. Yeah. Now, mind you, he was kind of like dancing around it like well if you know we're dating and it's a secret then why should i talk to you and i said well, you should talk to me because you don't know what you're getting yourself into <laughs> i said you should talk to me i said Catherine, 
is dating you because she needs to revamp her reputation. I just told him straight out. Then the art, and then, you know, this guy, he's a, a fame whore, quote unquote, too. Back in 2014, he put on his Instagram that he was trying to get on the show. So, oh, oh God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He had a picture with Whitney, and he's like, Whitney, you need to cast me, my brother, next season. You know, we'll make this show lit. I mean, come on. Thirsty. <laughs> Thirsty, and then people got all over me because when I put it on Instagram, I finally published the story. The cover art that I used was a picture of Catherine. Oh God! What did you do about it? What did behind you do, it, the Jungle Fever, and oh my God, <laughs> I got the rest. <laughs> oh, Monica, oh, that's amazing. That was, so bad. that was great. I live for your headlines, Monica. I live for your headlines. So <laughs> good. You are my you are people. people. <laughs> that's amazing. Like, yeah. And I knew people would come for me, and it was like, please give me it. That's what exactly what she has, Jungle Fever, but it's. <laughs> It's just crazy. That show, we have to get into. I mean, I'm telling you, if you don't watch, you need to watch. It's so good. <laughs> so, so, so good. Yeah, us yeah. on the right, on the top of, like, I feel like Hollywood Square is, like, we're, like, you know, like, no, we don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Over here, we watch it. <laughs> we can get into it. <laughs> Wait, is Thomas Ravenel, like, is he, like, on good graces with people now? Because I, I remember him being, like, the most hated person. Well, he's on Ever. good graces with me. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, lie to you. I talk to him like every other day. He's a good friend of mine. Okay. And I know he's gone through his scandal, the sexual um, abuse stuff. But if people took the time to actually read, they would understand this woman in court admitted that he didn't even touch her. He didn't lay one hand on her. But in South Carolina, if you accuse someone of that type of thing, they have to class. There's only one type of classification for it. So they went to court and the case was pretty much dissolved. They, he wasn't he took a plea deal, a very, very small plea deal. But it wasn't anything of the sexual nature. It was like, mm. you know, assault in the fourth degree. And he made a donation to some charity and she agreed to, you know, stop running around, running her mouth and saying he did that to her because he, he didn't. He didn't even touch her. Wow. So. Wow. Now, Monica, didn't he just have a, another child? And with whom? He did. Yep. At, how, Thomas is 57 and he just had his third child, Jonathan, in five weeks. Wow. Wow. That yeah. sperm is like high end. Okay. Right? <laughs> it still has energy. It still has energy. A lot of people think, you know, old people um, don't have it, but no, he he's like an energizer bunny, according to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank God, according to who? I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so he, he just bought a, a new mansion in Aiken, South Carolina, 1.3 million, and okay. they're all there the kids, his new baby, the baby mama, Heather, who he likes a lot, and they're going strong. So he's doing good. Okay. You know what would be interesting if Sonia met Thomas, if she would date Thomas. <laughs> oh, I like that crossover. Yeah, you know, well, playing matchmaker over here. He's got legs, he's got money. Yes. So there Sonia. it is. Boom. <laughs> I think they've met. I think Thomas liked him a little younger, though. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's Just true. A little bit. Just like a little Leah bit. Young? I think he would love Leah. Younger. I don't he think he would younger. like Leah. Ali is a Lee is a bit too. You got the southern southern gentleman and this abrasive New York chick. Yeah, Lee is like too Staten Island for. Uh, yeah, for it's not, it's not just good. a little bit. But um, he like how old is uh, Catherine? Catherine is twenty eight now. But when she wow. had their first child, she was twenty one. Yeah. And wow. Yeah, and he was fifty something. So do the math. She is so, she is literally Emma Stone. She's Emma Stone. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. She, I, I call she her 21. Yeah. She was 21. 21. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she also had sex with three other men on the cast. So they didn't God know damn. who the daddy was. They had to take a paternity test. Lies. I, I told you not. It was on the show. Wow. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I do remember that. Hmm. Wow. 
Wow. Interesting. And Cameron's not going to be on this season. I heard she left the show. Yeah, Cameron left the show because they were getting ready to expose all her secrets. Oh, good. I could. She was so self righteous. Yeah, yeah. Tell sanctimonious. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> sanctimonious. She, yeah, she. Cameron used to be on Girls Gone Wild, if I'm not mistaken. You remember that show, Girls Gone Wild? Oh my no, she, God. wasn't she on Real World? I thought she was. She real was. World. She was on yeah, Real yeah, World. Yeah, Cameron was on the Real World. I remember her from the Real World. Uh, which yeah. season? Real World. San Diego. Oh, she was on that one. Yeah, she was on. Yeah, I used to love that show, Real World San Diego. And then she decided to, you know, get her life together and slow down and become a realtor and get married. And she married this doctor. And yeah, but they were getting ready to expose her because through reliable sources now, her husband was having an affair. And Catherine Dennis talked about it. She filmed a scene talking about it. So she just said, it's time for me to exit this show. Payback. What is up? We talked about this the other day. What is up with these husbands who know they're going to, it's almost like they want to get caught. Because why are you going to have an affair and people know who your wife is? I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, I don't Bizarre. get it. Bizarre. It's weird. And you would think like a doctor. I mean, there's lawyers that do it. Lawyers, doctors, businessmen. If he's walking and he has a third leg, the possibility he might do it. <laughs> right? I mean, am I lying? I, no. right? You can't put anything past anyone or a, a man, especially. You just, you know, it might happen. But I yeah, have, there's good men out there. You know, I have to say this. I always have to say this. There's good men out there. All you need is one, one bad seed doesn't ruin it for everybody else. There's good men out there. Amen. That's true. That's true. Give us hope. Just giving us hope. Yeah. On that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So as we wrap up this today's session, um, any final thoughts on this episode or this show or anything we want to talk about? This could be anything. When does the season end? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. And when does, Jer when does Jersey start? That's, that's my question. Ooh, Jersey's going to be good. Yeah, I can't wait for Jersey. That's like that and Atlanta are my two favorites. Listen, I love Jersey. Uh, apparently, everybody just turned on Jackie. Well, oh, I like good. Jackie. No, see, I like Jackie. I like Jackie. T, spill it, DJ. What happened? I don't. I don't really know, but I know that either she's not following Teresa now, or Teresa's not following her, and Ooh. apparently, everybody else had an wait, issue with her as well. Even Margaret. Margaret and Melissa. <gasps> Ooh. I was never a Jackie fan, though. I was never a Jackie I loved her. When she came in and set Teresa straight, I was like, oh, yes, finally. When she I said, like, like at the reunion, she was like, um, yeah, okay, you're a writer. You, Mrs. Uh, the Dictionary Desaurus. Like, uh, that was amazing that she took Teresa on like that. I was like, God damn, she, is, she has no fear. Oh, God. That's amazing. You're an That's author. Hilarious. You wrote that book? Uh huh. Sure, you did. Okay. Like, that was <laughs> great TV. I'm sorry. That made me love Jackie. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but Teresa's an OG. I mean, she's in charge of the girls on that show. And if you don't fall in line, Jackie may not have a job soon. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with Teresa. She's been through too much to have to deal with some foolishness. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Going exactly. through too much. Now, will we see Joe um, on the upcoming season? I'm hearing that he's going to appear by phone and video. He's so lame. thirsty, I can't. Lame. Thirsty. Yeah, I was like, lame. So, do I, is he doing too much on social media for y'all? <laughs> oh, my God. Way too much. With the whole quarantine I just never liked update. Him. I, never liked him. I never liked him either. I never, thought, I never thought he was juicy. Sorry. That was not. <laughs> no. I never noticed how short he was until he got deported. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys. I cannot wait for Sunday because Potomac is bringing it. I cannot wait. OMG. Nothing is competing with Potomac right now. Okay. And the off, off the show drama. Oh, DJ, oh my God. You, got, you got this. Chime in. You just shaking your head because it's just so. <laughs> it it has been a stressful week for me. <laughs> it's been really stressful because it's just gotten to 
insane levels. And this so the situation with Candace right now, I, I'm kind of shocked that we haven't heard anything from Bravo yet with regards to some of the things that have happened with her. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what how they move moving forward. What are, you hearing, what, what are you hearing has happened with her? Because I've heard Bravo had, have told her to just be quiet is what I was mm. told. Well, oh, God. Um, I'm... Uh, what I'll say is this. Um, let me ask you guys this question. And I and I just want you to answer. Do you believe that anything has changed after her apology? With her personally, as a as a her character, you mean? No, not her character. I'm just saying about how she moves. Do you think that people oh, no. change? No. Oh, no, no. 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 No, this is she's. She, and she's said some homophobic and transphobic stuff. Yeah. In the she hasn't taken ownership of any of those things. And I'm like, who do you think is watching your show, sweetie? Right, <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. Like, I don't, who do you think is watching your show? Like, it, it, I don't know. I just, I find her to be very irreverent. And I think because she has that tumultuous relationship with her mom, I think she thinks she gets a pass because it's like, oh, my mom's really, hard. but like a lot of people's moms are really awful. Like you can't use that as an excuse to get away with it. Yeah. That's so Absolutely. True. I mean, what does her upbringing have to do or her, how her mom treated her have to do with her being a hateful person? Homophobia is hate. That's my thing. It's one thing to be shady and be snarky and all that stuff. But racism, homophobia, all that stuff is there's no excuse for it. Right. There's none. Right. She needs to go. I mean, that's where she, for me, it was just enough's enough. She's crossed the line. There's no going back. Absolutely. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much how they're coming for Monique. And I, I don't just love Monique because we have the same name. I love Monique because she's just, <laughs> I just love her. And right. in the remarks she's making, it's just, she's out of control. She's out of control. Yeah, I think for me, it's it's the, the drama that stays confined to within the show. Cool. The drama that's happening with some of the things that she's saying to people off, off the show, offline, behind the scenes. Yeah. that's starting to come out it's just kind of like those are the things that i'm like like i was rooting for you a long time ago like what happened where did you go wrong like and you're too big of a name at this point to to say these things right 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 absolutely right richie you're right and then she also like even even before she got caught with all this stuff she was like tweeting at ashley some really nasty things about what was it like, wildebeest or warthog? I mean, it's like, come on. A roach. She called roach. her a roach. She called her. Oh, they called Sharice a warthog. Okay, no. But it's like, <laughs> yeah. I just, I was like, oh my god. Oh <laughs> Hard to my keep god. up. It just, I think it's it's tough because it's like, when you have such strong black woman and then you're taking her down and then her husband's sitting there and you're saying that the kid is from someone else. It's like, Ooh. really, really, like this is mm. where you're going. If you don't have receipt of a paternity test, don't bring it up. I yeah, that was actually one. don't bring it up at all. But if you have it, if you're gonna bring it up, at least have a paternity test or something. Because you don't have anything, you're just throwing. And I just wish wish Chris would sit her down and be like, "You need to act right." We know that Chris with the brown dick can really put her in. Her <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know what? Chris is just like her. I've had interactions with him, and they're both the same. People, they think the same, they act the same, they attack the same. It's like, it's like talking to a tree. So, I mean, honestly, it's not a good matchup. It's not a good union because he, he can't help her grow. They're at the same level mentally. And it's sad. Like you said, you, you're really going to say that, that that's, that child is not Chris, Chris's oh child. God. There's lines you just don't cross. And right. when you do, you deserve to get your ass whooped. Yeah. Like that, that was the next level. I agree. I, I, I couldn't believe it. That, that was just a disgusting thing to say about her kids. And they're all, and I know, I know the show hasn't aired yet, but they're hating on Monique because they want Monique's life. I think Monique has the husband, the house, the beautiful kids, the husband who adores her. Giselle going back with Jamal Bryant, come on, like, and then Candace, I just, I just, it's so infuriating. It's just wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. What's that noise? Does someone have I a? I have no idea. Where is that? Star Trek. Star Trek. Or the live stream? Oh, if you have the live stream open on some, I mean, not the live stream, but if you have this video open on another tab, you got to close it. It'll give feedback. No, nothing. 
I hear it. It's is it crazy. Candace? I, is it Candace in the room? I thought they told me one time she, was up like I was at the Oscars. <laughs> Candace just be, beamed into this live via the Star Trek what? noise that I'm hearing in the background. <laughs> Richie, DJ Richie, you chime in on this. From her last live on Sunday, the two and a half hour rant where she, you know, told fans commenting to F off, to go suck a D. Um, she she said that she wished death on a blogger. There's a blogger. Black, shout out to the Black Socialite. He's amazing. I love Black Socialite. Go find him on Instagram, uh, YouTube, and follow him. He's an amazing source for all things RHOP. She wished death upon him. She talked about his weight, him being obese. It, it just, she just gets down and dirty. And then she said Monique's mentally unstable and that she shouldn't have the privilege of giving birth to children. Wow. God. This That's is not entertaining anymore. It's not entertaining mm -hmm. anymore. It's just sad and it's depressing and we don't need it. Like fire her, it's done. Like we're out. Negative. I mean, at what point is someone gonna step in Miss Dorothy? Someone gonna step in her mother? And maybe put a 5150 hold on this girl because she's out of control. I think honestly, it's gonna have to come from the network. Um, because it. otherwise, I don't think she has, I don't know that there's anyone on her team saying, um, you know that's not a good idea, right? Or <laughs> sitting in the room with her when she's going live and saying, no, we're not gonna because you can't you just can't say these types of things. And I don't and, and how she's still gotten away with it this long, I don't know. Because somebody should have shut her down at the network already. Like, no Twitter for you, nothing like this. And I've heard that they've done that with different casts before when it's gotten out of control, but this is beyond. Yeah, this is the worst I've ever seen of any of the franchises in terms of some of the this is worse than Brandy Glanville. It is. Right, right. I heard she um, couldn't afford her publicist last year. So, you know, they had to part ways. So right. now she has this guy. He's like four feet and um, he wears a fur coat, even if it's 100 degrees outside oh, God. and sunglasses. And he, he has the same mentality as her. There's only so much he can do. He's working for free. So she doesn't have the guidance. There's no one there to say you're coming off crazy. You know, right. you're losing fans. Absolutely. She really thinks that she's a fan favorite and that Monique has bought all these fans that like her. That's what she thinks. She really does she, think that. She's crazy. If she's listening to this, um, call me because I can help you restructure <laughs> your PR, honey. You need a overall in image consulting. But I think what it is, is correct me if I'm wrong, but do you guys think that Bravo is a little nervous about, they, they really quickly, obviously, thank God got rid of the pump rules, cast members. Do you think they're worried about firing another person? Because then it's going to seem like their network's kind of falling apart. Is that something? Well, after the, the gay slurs and the, and the homophobic comments, I think that's a just about fireable firing, considering right. Candace led the charge to get the Vanderpump Rules people fired. She was on every blog making very vocal on social media, going off on these people that they, you know, demanding they get fired. So I think what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I would agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Absolutely. That's not right. Mm -hmm. No. Miss T says, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Candace, who says she won't return if Monique returns. Can we get that in writing? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'd it's rather the parrot come back. I'd rather the parrot come back as a full-time housewife than her. So, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> T'Challa. <Yeah. laughs> goodbye, I mean, Candace. How goodbye. delusional does she think she is to give Bravo ultimatums? Who does she think she is? Girl. Teresa? Right? I mean, if they're, if they're giving NeNe and OG problems, come on. This right. girl's insane. Well, I would just say that if Kenya can come back after Portia dragged her, then you can definitely come back after this. Absolutely. Good point. True. Good point. And, and it's a justified dragging. I mean, she got her ass whooped, but it was just after all this stuff that we know now, I think it's justified, don't you? And I don't advocate violence or anything of that nature, but there's just certain lines you don't cross. Right. I agree. So much you can take before you snap. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, guys, I have a quick question. What, uh, other than this situation, what's another housewife situation? Like, obviously, the whole 
um, Candy and Portia debacle. What's another one for you, for y'all that was crazy? Like a situation. When Teresa chased Danielle through the country club. <laughs> <laughs> and yanked Ashley's hair. I like the yanking of Ashley's hair. <laughs> that was classic TV. Calling her, what did she say to her? I'm gonna <laughs> prostitution. Oh no, prostitution words when she flipped the table. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> that was great. My house is not that a was when she had a Jerry curl. She had a Jerry curl. She was like, it was the foreclosed house comment. That's what she was saying. That that yeah. hurt her off, and she was my house is not a foreclosure. Literally, Danielle's <laughs> running, running, and then Ashley pulled her hair, her weave out. It was just so good. Good TV. And Kim G, good, Jack, my supportive friend, come stay in my uh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> and then she goes back and sides and gossips about her. Oh my God, she's crazy. Oh my God. Kim D, wow. That's Kim a throwback. D. That's a that throwback. <laughs> Somebody said Mariah and Toya's fight from Married to Medicine season one. Oh, Ooh, yes, Mariah, yeah. honey. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was the introduction. Bravo's done Mariah dirty. They took the show from her and they so even took her producer credit. Bravo's yeah. shady. They stole it from her, yeah. So oh, yeah that was a good fight. And was Mama Lucy involved? Did she? She, did. she hit her with a pocketbook. <laughs> oh, that was good time. Good time. <laughs> but you know, speaking of which, I felt like with Married to Medicine, Quad came into Mariah's friend group Turn those women against her. I just, I feel like Quad did her so dirty. So dirty. I love Mariah. I'm sorry. I am. I agree. I agree. I mean, I'm I'm a shameless Mariah fan. I love her too. She's Come on, what about Kim Richards and the, and the slut pig? Come on. Oh, oh that slut was good. pig. That was good. What, what was that? that one? I'm Beverly no, Hills. No. Oh yeah, you Brandy. Are a slut pig. Season two. Right. <laughs> yes. Come on, Brandy yes. and Kim, and yeah, yes. no, those were the good times. That was good, slut pig. That I got. You are a slut pig. pig. I mean, I say that you. every day. That's like the last five years. I love that. Yes. I what love about that. that psychic that um, Camille hired? <laughs> the dinner and the psychic that went after oh, Kyle. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Wait, yeah. that psychic that hated everybody? That's yeah. Allison, Allison, Allison Dubois. Dubois. Allison Dubois. Yeah. That <laughs> she got smoking her jewel. She was like, you're all going to hell. <laughs> She's like, you're the worst people I've ever met. And you, you, all your fortunes suck because you're bad people. Like, that was, was like, like, she was wow. not having it. That psychic. Oh, she my was. God. Morally corrupt. Morally, right? What is, who did she say that to? Who did she say was morally hey, corrupt? Hey, they Wait, were no, the classic is where all the memes came from. Of right, Taylor right. saying, you don't understand what I've been through. <laughs> At that dinner party and all those that memes good. that came up from oh, that. That yeah. good. Yeah. So that good. was good. So, so good. So good. Mm -hmm. Someone said Orange County had the scandal with cancer. Remember Vicky being oh. crucified like Jesus? <laughs> oh, okay. Was that what Brooks? That was right, right, Brooks. Oh, that was the Brooks. That was just so messy. Yeah. I saw Brooks um near my parents' house uh having coffee. Did he have cancer? Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just having a coffee. Just having a coffee. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was Ooh, crazy. this is messy. Debbie Hutchinson says Allison said that Maurizio would leave Kyle when her last daughter went to college. Mm -hmm. The last daughter is the baby, right? She's still, what is she, in middle school now? We still got time. Ooh. <laughs> they are messy. They are messy. <laughs> messy. I love them. There, go ahead. Keep that, keep that pasta in. Keep those questions <laughs> <up there>. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember this? The um the DC, Roll Housewives of DC. Oh, that was so good when they snuck into the White House. That was <laughs> I that love that season. Oh, season was so good. Oh it my was. God. It really was. It deserved it was so a second good. season at least. But you know, all those couples are divorced now. Every I single know. Oh, wow. every single I one heard. Of them. Yeah. Wow. Every wow. It's supposed to be like that's like the DC, what DC uh, the cat that cast brings it. Exactly. Yeah. They just renamed yeah. it Potomac because I think That's Potomac exactly is one what happened. very That's, close. To yeah. yeah. Right. Oh yeah. They there was a lot of controversy and 
problems with that whole White House thing. You're right. They renamed it Potomac. Yeah. Yep. yeah and they just kind of brought it back. Um, I really love, have you guys seen Real Housewives of Vancouver? I love that. It's a great offshoot. How do we get to watch the ones? Yeah, how do we movie? watch that? Because like I love Cheser, Yeah, like there's like, I, I haven't watched any of the ones like, you know, in different countries. Illegally, you have to kind of like, you know, Fina yeah. It's too much work, but if you can, it, it's quite, it, it's great because they kind of don't have really platforms. Like they'll have 5,000 followers, so they'll do anything and everything. They'll throw <laughs> drinks. Like they don't have anything to worry about. It's great. Oh, you gotta, no tell Bravo. Me, you gotta tell me how to get that. Absolutely, I will, no problem. Okay, so Darrell Carlo says, it was justified. Why does why does nobody think Monique needs to, needs to learn self control? Like we are adults, and you can go to jail. Okay, Darrell, I'm glad you brought that up. That is, you're absolutely right. I mean, as adults, we have to have self control. And even though the ass whooping was justified, <laughs> in the end, I guess Monique should have kept her hands to herself. But I mean. When we really break it down, Candace threw the wine in Monique's face first. And that's why both assault charges were dropped, by the way. The prosecutor saw the raw footage and said, no, I mean, it's a, either we go to trial and you both go to jail or we just drop it. Right. So technically, Monique was assaulted first. Sound off, guy. So to me, this is like a G code type situation. And I think many of you may have recognized this from growing up. If you, if I step to your face and I tell you to drag me, you should drag me because I asked you for it. Okay. I don't ask for things that I know that I, that I don't want. Okay. And I'm not going to come into your personal space if I don't want to get a beat down. I can argue with you through, from, from over here. Good point. Exactly. exactly. Monique, sound off. Mic drop. I mean, there's certain lines that should not be crossed. Okay. And if someone throws, anything in my face my first and i am a very classy dignified woman but if someone does that my first reaction is to fight back so i don't know what they're going to put in my face next that's what i'm saying and then seeing everything that's been going on since candace is out of control and also isn't she the one that had the butter knife with ashley come on she now sure was. Yeah. yeah yeah and any smart person knows this girl's violent let me be on guard you Thank know you. exactly Yep. Right. Amir, sound off. I think what a lot of people that watch the show, we kind of miss is that there are producers there. There is a camera in your face. There are people there and there is theatric. You get caught up. Like, have you ever been in a play and you get caught up and you're like, is this real? Like, are you really kissing? Like you get caught up. I think mm -hmm. that Candace is caught up. She's an immature child. Like her mom treats her less than, I mean, the mom going up there at the engagement party talking about her sex life. I mean, she's just, She's mistreated. I'm not saying what she's doing is right. I'm just saying at the end of the day, Monique is in the right. Don't bring up children or family. They, all the housewives every season are like, we're not going to bring up children. We're not going to bring up husbands. And they always do. It's like, it's below the belt. And let's be honest. If you go to a show like Basketball Wise, you'll get punched in the face for that. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Housewives mm -hmm. pretend to be all dignified, but, like, let's be real. Like, you talk about someone's family. I'm a very calm person, but I will scratch your eyes out. <laughs> And I, I will tell you guys this, I mean, from my own experience, when you have a bunch of cameras following you around, you, I feel like things happen that wouldn't normally happen. Oh, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, Why? Why do you think that is? Is it just you um, get an adrenaline rush? I think there's adrenaline rush. I think there is sometimes uh, camera fatigue. So you may come, you may be a lot more irritable. And I think that there's also a situation where you're also way more on guard because from my knowledge, when there are all cast events, you kind of know something is going to happen, but you just don't know. Nobody really re will know who it's coming from, but I think everybody goes into those kind of nervous or at least like a little bit on guard. Absolutely. And uh, Richie, I've heard the producers tell them not to text each other. Like I have a, I, I know people that are on Vanderpump Rules and they're like, if we have an issue, like we're told not to text about it and kind of bring it to that group dinner. And imagine how nerve wracking <laughs> that is. If you're like meeting your friends for a drink and you're like, okay, they're going to tell me my boyfriend's cheating, but they're not going to tell me before. That's kind of crazy. Of yeah. course, you're yeah. going to get mad. Of course, you're going to pop off. Like, I mean, listen, I was on one dating show, one episode. They filmed for 12 hours. By that 12th hour, I was saying things that I would never say in a normal set of setting. That's, That's what I'm saying. You almost And they used all of that. Yeah. yeah. John, sound off. 
what are your thoughts? I just like think of like the episode in Jersey where like um, Jennifer is like coming for Melissa and she breaks the glass or she does and like Melissa turns out you are coming for the wrong fucking girl like that's how I feel like if you're gonna come like you, that's it like if you're gonna do that then you get you beat you, yourself I'm sorry I like that's it I agree so Michelle I'm sorry were you gonna say something Monique oh no I was just agreeing I'm like yeah you guys, you guys are just giving gems today I love it <laughs> so Michelle says, wow, Candace is spinning out of control. She needs an intervention. We're her, we're her husband or mother. Bye, Candace. Yeah, I agree, Michelle. Bye, Candace. She can go. Mm -hmm. She can go. This was so much fun. I, I just love doing this. No. I do too. It's great. I love, I love this. My <laughs> yeah. John, we have to hook up and do a 90 fiance, 90 day fiance update. I mean, there's when, so much crap going on. Oh my God. There's so much like I, my head spinning like from it all. Like that's why I love doing this. Cause like, it's a, a vacation from my mind to go back to <laughs> and, like, not have to talk about 90 day fiance, which is like insane at the moment. Yep. So we'll be back Monday, right? Um, for RHOP recap. Yay. I love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.